I've been told that I look very eager in the I'm profile. looking at a crotch shot. I don't know, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's Swipe not the kind left. of picture. Yeah, Swipe left. Swipe left. My name is Kelly and I'm here to get my Tinder profile updated. I've been on Tinder, I've been on Bumble, and like, I don't know how to start conversations on the internet. My current profile on Tinder is not great. I even don't think it's that great. I feel like she'll look at my profile and be like, this is pretty good. At least that's what I hope. I'm ready to open myself back up to dating. I've been single for over a year now. I'm gonna put myself out there and see what I can do. Let's do this. I'm Julie Spira. I'm an online dating expert and dating coach, and I'm going to whip some of these online dating profiles into shape. The good part about online dating is there's over 40 million singles in the United States alone that are using dating sites and dating apps. Why is it so hard? Okay. Um, you ready to check them out? Mobile dating boot camp. Here we go. Okay, Ryan. So I'm looking at your Tinder profile mm -hmm. and the first thing I see is uh, the group shot. I know. Ryan, we've talked we about, talk this. about this. It's nice to know that you have a posse, but the fact is they don't belong in your primary shot. Maybe it can be the sixth photo, but not the <laughs> first. That's a number six. Uh, we've got to get you without sunglasses. I'm I literally love that picture, that. except for the sunglasses. It's good to list places that you like to go because you need to make it easy for somebody to ask you out. That says, take me out to the ball game. Um, <laughs> That's also in Peru with the baby alpaca. I, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was a unicorn. <laughs> uh, it's different. Uh, let's oh see. no. <laughs> That's not and a it's compliment. Like a dad, not and then the last one. <laughs> It's a pig? It's a pig. Yeah, it's a little pig. Is it your pig? Wait. It's just a friend. Is it licking its tongue? What is it doing? Like I think it's his nose. nose. Oh, licking its nose. It's so How cute. sweet. Both I know, but you want a boyfriend, not a pig. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, You're not no. good at my bias. Okay, I have to tell you something. Profiles that get the swipes left are ones that start off by saying, I'm sorry, but sexuality isn't all about your body shape. It's about walking into a room and like, owning it. This is what's great about your bio. Right up top it says University of Pennsylvania and that screams I'm super smart. It's a real turn on to have somebody that can be in a boardroom and a bedroom and you can do both. Ask a question in a profile and you have more people That's responding so to you because they see that question mark and they're, they're given an instruction. Anything that can mirror your profile to someone else's has a greater chance of a right side. Okay. Both of you have the same homework assignment that you need two new photos to mm -hmm. replace the two I pulled down, and you need to redo your bio saying where you're from originally. Yes. Think of something unique, and then ask a question. I have a lot of hope for the two of you. Oh, thank, thank you, you. so much. <laughs> Julie suggested that we get new photos for our Tinder profile, and we're we'll, gonna try. We're gonna try. We're, we're gonna, gonna try. Our best. I just realized I already broke the rule. She said no sunglasses, so uh, they gotta come off. And red is the color of love. There's research that backs up that more right swipes on people wearing red. And since we couldn't find like red shirts, um, we're just gonna have some fun yeah, with it. Yeah, we're gonna make it really fun. Even though I'm nervous to meet someone new, I'm also excited because even if it doesn't work out romantically, friendships are important. I've never like been dating before, so I think that's the most nerve-wracking thing. It's like, what do I say? What do I do? Like, what if what if I embarrass myself? Kelly and I are going to take Julie's advice, and we are about to start messaging some boys. I do have to say that his profile specifically, it says that he comes from wealth. I just think that's an obnoxious thing to point out in a Tinder profile. Moving forward online to get yourself offline and on a date is imperative. Ask them a question, and if you can use their first name, suddenly you personalize the experience and you're one step further along than the person who just says, hey. I was swiping earlier today and I matched with this guy and we were just texting a little bit and decided to go get drinks tomorrow after work, so it's pretty cool. So I did start swiping a little bit and of course like I got one super like, you know, with the blue star. And the person that super liked me is someone I've dated already. Mm, it's doing not great. You might write to 10 people and only one person will write back. And that's just the way the numbers game flows. <laughs> it is like applying for jobs. Except I'm for it. Love's supposed to be like for the rest of your life potentially. Oh. So why are we not putting the same amount of energy into our love lives? That's a good that's point. So I work true. a lot more than I love. So I just matched with a guy named Max and we've been talking a little bit. And I think I'm gonna ask him to hang out because this is all about putting myself out there. So we'll see what happens. I get ready, get dressed, um, and get ready to go out tonight. And he just texts me about 10 minutes ago, which is we're about an hour away from when we're supposed to meet and um, he canceled. And it looks like I it looks like I got stood up. On the bright side of things, I did match with another guy named Fola, message him and see if 
he might want to go out. Um, Kelly already found a date too, so we're gonna try to turn it into a double date and see if tomorrow night works out better than tonight. My experience on Tinder and Bumble, it was really just finding people that didn't look dangerous. <laughs> and I've read a lot of articles about things that really haven't gone well for people that date online. I convinced Kelly to go on a double date with me. We're going together. Yeah, we're going to make this but a I double date. But I have someone coming too, yeah. so. Yeah, we're going to do a little double date. And so. we're not going to get murdered. Right. Because we have each other. Or, or we'll, we'll get both get murdered, murdered together. This is Follow Say Hi. Yeah, so uh, we're on a double date actually. So Max and Kelly are also here. And this is Max. Hey guys. He agreed to be on camera with me, so uh, good guy already. It's nice to go with a friend just because it's more comfortable automatically. And I think the two guys also had fun meeting each other. There was no awkwardness. If anything, it just felt like a nice like group hangout. Max is like somehow making me nervous because I just dropped like half my sandwich all over my pants. So we didn't get murdered. That's always good. Meeting Polo was awesome. He was a really nice guy. He was good looking and I'd like to s explore that and see where that relationship goes. Having a love expert go through my profile, it made me feel vulnerable, but it also was good because she's not a friend so she doesn't know me personally. She just kind of said, this is what a stranger would see and this is what they would think. I don't know if Tinder is the best way to fall in love, but it's definitely a great way to meet new people and to kind of like just put yourself out there and, and just try it. This week taught me it's okay to be your goofy, weird self. Somebody who's out there to match you, just be open to them. I like online dating because uh, meeting people in real life is hard. So.